Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin has performed quite well um, throughout the, the day already and has already reached my first ideal target or let's say no, the minimum target for the third wave there in yellow that we are observing. Made you aware of that potential um, impulsive structure in the previous video. And we want to talk about that structure right now. And also, please be aware that the move to the upset, this white count, which we obviously were looking for, you know, with, with um, potentially one more low in wave five, I will most likely take that off the chart, um, especially if we get a break above 42,183. It could still be a very high wave four here. Uh, if it turns down now and fails miserably, then this might still be this scenario in white that we've discussed, but it obviously moved above the initial resistance area. So this wave four is too high to be reliable anyway, but it's still possible. And if we see only three waves up from the lows, and which we see at the moment is only a three wave move up from the lows at the moment, well, then it could still simply be just a corrective rally. And um, therefore we always need to be aware that it can still fail. What we ultimately need to see, as mentioned in the previous video, we need to see a five wave pattern from the lows. Only that will be a somewhat reliable indication that a lasting low has formed or a somewhat more substantial low. Of course, we have an uptrend right now, but it's only it's only a higher high that has formed so far above this one. We haven't got a higher low. We Next, we need a higher low and another higher high. And then we have a first impulse. So I leave that white count obviously on the chart for now. Um, it could still turn into a larger correction. Of course, you know, th this what we're doing right now, the initial break above resistance was only our first indication that a low could be in already here. Yeah, but it's not enough to confirm it. So what I'll do to keep the chart clean, I'll take that initial resistance area off. Also here, these trend lines, we don't need them. And then what I think what it's really about and what's interesting for most people is to identify and discuss the microstructure here at the moment. So whatever happens, as long as we only have a three wave move from the lows, we could get another low easily. It can still break down. And then it doesn't matter if I call that a wave four or if it's turning into a B wave or an X wave, whatever. What we need to see is five waves. So it's already good that we see some strength here. But one reason why I make this video now, um, the price has now reached this 1.236 extension of yellow wave one. So that's the first minimum target I gave you in the previous video for this third wave. At the moment, this could simply be an ABC structure. Okay, if that's in a wave four or in a wave B, doesn't matter. It can be an ABC structure still. But it cannot be an ABC structure anymore if we now pull back and is holding a higher low and is forming another higher high. So what we need to see somewhere in this region form is a fourth wave and it should be a healthy wave four that might take a day or two, maybe over the weekend. Oh yeah, we wave four weekend maybe, okay. We usually see wave fours over the weekend. So I think that would be reasonable to expect a wave four to happen, um, yeah, maybe Saturday, Sunday. That would also be quite good. I think it's quite, quite good actually. Um, because weekends are often slow. So we might see that fourth wave over the weekend. And I can tell you that there is currently no indication the third wave has topped. So it might stretch to 42,266. This is actually the ideal target for a third wave in this context. Um, the 1.236 extension was the minimum that was reached. So if we pull back and hold a higher low, great. But I would trust it, <clears throat> trust it more if it reaches the 1.38 extension. That's a very reliable level. Wouldn't be surprised if the wave four starts from there. Um, it could stretch a little higher. And if it does that, then we've got 42,773 next. Yeah, And all of that is relevant here for a third wave. I mean, direct extensions are always possible, but it's important that it's holding um, a higher low. What would be that wave four support if the pullback starts now? Well, wave four support from here it's the 50% retracement, right? So let me adjust that. And then the micro support area that needs to hold wh whatever it's doing right now, um, even if it goes a little higher, then we have to adjust it. But still that level will be relevant. 
the level that, or the let's say, yeah, the level that needs to hold is the 50% Fibonacci level. It's at $40,705. If the price reaches the 1.38 extension, then it's 40,840. And obviously would need to be adjusted according to where the price forms a top. This is not a target area. It's a support area. And it will really only be locked as soon as we have a confirmed top in place in this third wave. Okay, and then when we get the pullback and it looks corrective, maybe over the weekend, we have to watch these levels. But there's no point in calling them out now because we haven't got a confirmed top in place. But ultimately, this is now it's now reached an area where we can be watching for a top to form. Um, but at the same time, there's no evidence one has formed. If I see something, I'll let you know. The support is clear. Next upside targets are clear as well, or at least the ne next levels to watch. So we've now we're now trying to cross above that 1.236 extension, which means the next level is basically yeah the 1.38 at 42,266, and then above that 42,773. So all we're doing at the moment is to let the market show us if it can form a five-wave move, and if it can. That will tell us a lot about how the market is likely going to move over the coming weeks because that would be bullish. Be aware, this could just simply be a three-wave move at the moment, okay? Now, what's interesting is that this could form an inverse head and shoulders, right? So we have a left shoulder here, a head, and a right shoulder. And then we need to see what it's doing. Um, yeah, I mean, based on elite wave, it should really then give us in the fifth wave here maybe the 200% extension to 43.6k or so, but it should actually not escalate completely yet. But that's sort of what I'm watching for. I mean, I don't need that head and shoulders pattern. I've got the elite waves. They give me all the levels I need to know. Just wanted to make you aware about the latest changes in microstructure. While there is no change really, um, the levels are still the same that I gave you in the previous video, but we currently see the count filled in and it's important to watch support in case of any pullback. That's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.